All right, this is it. The moment of truth. We're about to face that one boss that everyone hates. Now let's see what she has to say for herself. Have you chosen the one to become your faith? Who will it be? Might I ask something first? Will Sin come back even should I use the final summoning to defeat it? Sin is eternal. Every Aeon that defeats it becomes Sin in its place. And thus is Sin reborn. So that's why Jack became Sin. Sin is an inevitable part of Spira's destiny. It is never-ending. Never-ending? But... but... if we atone for our crimes, Sin will stop coming back, yeah? Someday it'll be gone, yeah? Will humanity ever attain such purity? <sighs> this... this cannot be! The teachings state that we can exercise sin with complete atonement! It's been our only hope all these years! Hope is... comforting. It allows us to accept fate, however tragic it might be. No! no! Where is the sense in all this? Braska believed in Yevon's teachings and died for them! Jack believed in Braska and gave his life for him. They chose to die because they had hope. Yevon's teachings and the final summoning give the people of Spira hope. Without hope, they would drown in their sorrow. Now choose. Who will be your faith? Who will be the one to renew Spira's hope? No one. I would have gladly died. I live for the people of Spira, and would have gladly died for them. But no more. The final summoning is a false tradition that should be thrown away. No. It is our only hope. Your father sacrificed himself to give that hope to the people. So they would forget sorrow. Wrong. My father... My father wanted to make Spiro's sorrow go away, not just cover it up with lies. Sorrow cannot be abolished. It is meaningless to try. My father, I loved him. So I, I will live with my sorrow. I will live my own life. I will defeat sorrow in his place. I will stand my ground and be strong. I don't know when it will be, but someday, I will conquer it, and I will do it without false hope. Poor creature. You would throw away hope. Well, I will free you before you can drown in your sorrow. It is better for you to die in hope than to live in despair. Let me be your liberator. Now! This is it! Now is the time to choose! Die and be free of pain! Or live and fight your sorrow! Now is the time to shape your stories! Your fate is in your hands! 
Yuna needs Kimari. Kimari protect Yuna. Well, I'm fighting. I can't believe we're gonna fight Lady Yuna Leska. Give me a break. You can always run. Ha! Ah, I'd never forgive myself. No way. Not if I ran away now. Even in death, yeah? Uh, my thoughts exactly. Yuna! This is our story. Now let's see this thing through together. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I couldn't commentate over that segment. That's one of my favorite segments in the game. So, <clears throat> it's time for us to face possibly the most annoying boss in this game, Unaleska. Unaleska has three forms. The first form is 24,000, and every time you attack her with a physical, she blinds you. And when you attack her with a magic spell, she'll silence you. So technically speaking, you're going to be using Isuna a lot. And don't even worry about buffs, unless you're using Cheer. Because cheer, cheer Focus and Reflex can't be shattered by her attacks. But the buff spells will, so don't even bother. Anyway... The first form's not that tough. Although near the end, she will use Drain and drain 2,000 life from you. It would be best if your uh, party is at 3,000 or higher. Just keep Yuna and... Well, just basically keep Yuna from being killed and you'll be fine. Or being silenced and you'll be fine. And what the hell is that down there? Uh-oh. Not good. And now we've come to possibly the annoying part. <clears throat> it doesn't matter what you do, off the bat, Unaleska will use Hellbiter, which will do zombie to your party. And as you can see, I have zombie proof. Yes, all that grinding off screen will pay off. However, only one of my characters have death proof, and it's the important one, which is Yuna. And by this time, you should learn. Oh, please, God, learn Auto Life. For the very least, you'll be able to bring back your fallen party members. And now would be a good time to cast it, because in her third form, she will immediately cast Mega Death. Well, she does it to me in this part anyway. Oh my god, what the hell is that down there? I'm sorry, Japan, you're starting to creep me out here. You got tentacles coming out of her ass. You got tentacles coming out of her hair. You got tentacles coming out of the ground. And God forbid, what the hell is that underneath those tentacles? Well, I know what it is, but still, I'm making a point here. Oh, and after every attack, she will shatter your buffs if you have any. Unless they're automatically put on a, uh, armor. So, there you go. Let's go on ahead and mug some... Well, I can't mug. I can just mix, though. So let's see what happens if I mix two underdog secrets. Hopefully something good. Ooh, that is good! Wow, and we're already in her third form. We just did 20,000 damage to her almost. And now, for possibly the most annoying form of the game. Her Medusa head form. Dear God, I can't believe she's hiding underneath all of that, man. Oh shit, 
I forgot to put auto life on him. Uh, damn it. Oh, you might want to be careful because sometimes death proof doesn't work. And at this point, if she put... If she cast zombie on your characters, well... She will spam curing spells. Like, regen will basically be poison to you in zombie, in, while you're a zombie. And Kiraja will be close to instant... I mean, Kiraga, sorry, will be close to instant death. And sometimes she'll even cast life. Which, by all means, suck. Just... Wow. This boss gave so many people so much trouble. Time to lay the smackdown on it! <clears throat> oh, darn it! Well, the last, the second form had only 48,000, but this form has 64,000, no, it has 60,000, that's right. It has 60,000, and it's not only a bane to regular party members' existence, but it's also a bane to Aeons. You see, even the Aeons will be easily defeated so well within two or three turns but in this form she'll osmos them to keep them from using any curing spells and since aeons can't use items well she'll also do that too Ugh. thank god it only hit yuna Mind Blast, is a, as you can see, is a confusing move, and she'll also do that to the Aeons. And seeing as how the Aeons cannot use items, they'll be instantly cursed, and she'll also uh, take away their overdrive. I mean, also take away their MP. And then drain them. If it doesn't kill them, you could pos if it doesn't automatically kill them, you can take one more hit before the Aeon dies, but if you have an Aeon with Overdrive, preferably Ixion, Bahamut, or Veilfor, you could basically waste this bitch. And you know what? For the first time in this playthrough, I finally, finally got Waka's Elemental Reels. Meanwhile, for the first time in this playthrough, I missed one of Orin's Overdrives. You know what? Screw this. Baja move for the win, as usual. Cause she deserves nothing less. <clears throat> it's at this point also I recommend you use Aeons because like I said, the boss is real cheap at the end, and will wipe out your party if you don't have death proof. Another way to avoid your team not having death proof? Bribe Oramon, 50,000 kill. I do believe 50,000 or 69,000? It's 69,000. And... You'll get maybe four or... A certain number of four plane wins. Oh look, she's almost dead. Ah, Christ. No! Okay, don't die, Bahamut. You can win this. Ah, damn it. That's it. You die! And I hope this ends her. Yes! But the fact remains is, at this point, use every Aeon you possibly can to annihilate the third form. And 
I'm sorry, a Medusa head that's attached to Unalaska's ass is by far the creepiest thing I've ever seen. It's always gotta be the pretty ones! <sighs> Damn it, Japan. Anyway, it's over. The most annoying boss in the game is done, and I only had two deaths off this whole entire fight. If I die, great. So does the final Aeon. And with it, Screw your final it. Aeon! Then we'll find Spira a new hope. Fool. There is no other way. Even if there was. She'll give away the other way in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Create sin anew. You, Yevon? Ha! They just caught on to the weakness. Forgive me. Spira has been robbed of the light of hope. All that remains is. Oh, funny story. That um. That glyph that she's standing on will remain there even after she's dead. Hell, it's in the second game, as a matter of fact. When you go to Sanarkin San in Ten Two, it's right there. I'll keep another zombie proof ring just cuz. Thankfully, you know, Alaska drops zombie proof stuff, and I'll use it just in case I run into any one of those enemies. But chances are I may not need it. I cannot believe what we just did. Let's do something more. You stopped a serial killer. That's what you did. There's nothing believable about unbelievable about that. Without the final Aeon. I don't know how pretty much. But I'll find out. Now one last time with feeling, the last and final celestial weapon piece that hasn't been mentioned. Just simply walk down the stairs here. Oh, in international version, you might want to get this now. Just because of the fact that a certain someone will be waiting for you if you don't. And this is the Suncrest. So now, Titus' sword can be halfway completed. To be honest, Titus' sword is the easiest to complete. Uh-oh. What's going on now? Well, we'll soon find out what the backlash of this in Part 84. This is RVMan985.